Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for March 6th, 2023. Well, Friday we had oh, a major exuberance coming into the market. We had bonds pulling back a little bit. And honestly, it was more of just a bit of a recovery rally that kicked off here in the market. But oh my gosh, did we get exuberant about it, really pressing to the upside. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, although we just had this surge of buying um, coming in on Friday, it was really interesting to, to, to note that um, we really pushed up hard. Volume, however, wasn't all that strong, um, which is peculiar, and that moved back to the upside. And if you'll notice in here, we ran into a little bit of price resistance in the chart. And if you look right above, there is an even more substantial price resistance level just above there in the Dow. We also want to make note that, well, we're still underneath our 50 day moving average and that we've got kind of a moving average squeeze on the bearish side that could be setting up here on the diamond. So I think the question for today is, will the bulls have enough energy to push us right on through those resistance levels in the chart? Or will we perhaps see um, bears starting to line up a defense somewhere between here and here? And I think that's still in question um, overall um, here. So I think we've got to be a little bit careful. I know there's probably a lot of folks thinking, oh my gosh, the bulls are going to take over. We're just going to rip back to the upside and all new highs coming in the market. But I don't know if I can go that far just yet. Let's take a look at the SPY. Our SPY, SPY looking at it, rallied up nicely, but there again, we kind of crunched our head right into some price resistance levels in the chart. And we may be able to go just a tiny little bit higher here to press a fairly substantial resistance level in the chart and also engage that downtrend. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem for us perhaps, um, seeing whether or not we're going to push on through here on the day. So as we try to deal with this and this resistance level in the chart, kind of got that little bit of a double whammy coming in right here. Will we be able to follow through? Keeping in mind that this was a lower um, high followed by a lower low, which means that's right in the area where we would look for the potential downtrend to resume. Now, if those bulls can actually push through here, and there's every reason to believe they could um, push on through here, then we would look for that resting pullback and hold. This is where I go long. I don't like um, I don't like trusting this market the way we whipsaw anymore. That I'm going to be buying right here at price resistance or as we cross price resistance because that's where we catch these nasty reversals. You know, just like right here, we gapped up, broke through, and then completely reversed to the downside. So watch that closely. Um, I'm not saying that's going to occur, but. I think there is um, some concern here in the market to be worried about um, considering our economy, rising rates, those kind of things. Um, and we're trying to ignore it right now. So maybe we can continue to do that. Maybe we can't. We'll want to watch that pretty closely. We're at that critical decision point here on the SPY. Technically, we've got to give this to the bulls because we held on to that 200 day and, and then just zoomed. You know, it's, it's one of the things we see in this market right now. It's either um, everybody's rushing into the trade, just got to hurry up and buy, fear of missing out or everyone's running for the door in pure panic. And um, we'll just have to keep an eye and see if that follows through here today. If we take a look at our QQQ, well, QQQ did the same thing. Extreme 
strong rally to the upside just to come up here and smack its head into a pretty significant price resistance point and downtrend. So once again, we have lower high, lower low. This is the exact point where we would watch for that potential failure. Um, so watch that closely. If they can push on through and hold the higher low here, great. Then we've got some upside opportunity in the market but I'd be a little bit careful and cautious right here. One of the rules that I never break is I don't want to be buying stock at price resistance. I did that for so many years and found that I would chase into a move kind of like this right into the resistance and downtrend. And that's uh, no surprise. I got punished a lot for doing that. So this is something I just choose to avoid. Um, I will not be chasing long into a resistance level here in the chart. But on the technical side of things, I got to give this to the bulls. Notice right in here, um, holding on to that 200 day, we really stretched hard in two days of trading. That 50 day is coming up and it's trying to move up to cross through that 200. We'll see if we can get that done or not, or if this downtrend will play out here on the day. Just keep in mind, if we do pull back, it could be a pretty hard pullback, so be prepared for that possibility. And then if we look at our IWM, IWM trying to sneak out from under there on Friday, break out from under the, that downtrend, and IWM has been remarkably strong, just so showing that it was holding right here on support. So this might be our best clue. And oftentimes the small caps lead the market. And as you can see, we're trying to break out here. So now the question is, will we hold on that breakout? Will we hold a higher low in here or and, and bounce on higher? Or will we pop through and just completely reverse? Not sure what the answer is here. So watch that closely. Once again, I need to see uh, proof that we can hold a higher low. Then I'm bullish. Um, that's all there is to it. So I'll be watching that closely. And once again, here, technically, Got to give this to the bulls. They held in there around that 50 day moving average being very, very strong. It, it is kind of surprising to me that we can take all, in all of this PMI, ISM data, all of this factory declining factory data, all of the weakening that we're seeing, um, you know, uh, in the earnings reports from like Walmart and, you know, that the consumer is weakening and yet ignore it and continue to push higher. So maybe the market knows something or maybe the traders know something that the market doesn't know, but I'm not entirely convinced of that just yet. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at our VIX, well, our VIX just dropping like a rock. Um, we've given up, we'd broken through this um, um, little trend here um, when the bears came around, but Bulls took it right back, pushing right back down. We're right back down here. We're pressing, I think, into some complacency areas here in the market, honestly. But we have that, we run that possibility that we could push right on through here and just not care about um, economic situations. So watch that close. And um, if we were to bounce off of this area, well, we couldn't rule out that possibility either. So um, today could be a decision point. And I would say maybe this week could be a decision point, whether we're going to turn bullish or if the bears re-engage. And I say that because we've got uh, some kind of interesting things on our calendar this week to be um, thinking about. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, here's an unfortunate situation here in the market, but we still got some up upside opportunity. T2122, because we raced in with the fear of missing out, we're going to miss this trade. So let's all buy all at once. We pushed this market up pretty hard, awful fast. And you can see we're very, very quickly approaching the bearish zone here in this chart. I apologize. I've got uh, a tool color that's incorrect here. We're pushing up here into this resistance zone in the chart. And we'll want to watch that pretty closely because sometimes after we've been lingering up here in a, uh, we lingered up here for quite a while, we finally get those sellers come in, we surge back and we find that resistance in here and it comes back down 
pretty hard. So watch that carefully. That possibility does exist, but I can't rule out that that also that possibility that those bulls will push on through and we'll find that um, upper resistance area here in the chart oh in the next few days if those bears engage well just keep in mind that we have a pretty big opening here because we zoomed up so much the whipsaw in here could be painful so watch carefully for that possibility if we take a look at our t2107 t2107 gave us our best hope i think here on friday that this is a valid bullish move noticing that we held here on this trend pushing up into the chart 57 percent of our stocks holding above their 200 day moving average you can see we caught this area little area of support right in here let's watch this closely as we were approach some of these resistance levels in the chart and then just keeping in mind as we stretch back up here well, we get a little bit carried away sometimes and we over we over push and then we we hit these levels that we are clearly overbought and um, turn lower. So watch that close. And then if we look at our T2108, this was kind of interesting, although it pushed back up here on Friday. Well, doggone it, 51% uh, of the stocks above their 50 day moving average. It's showing us a little bit of a concern here as we push back up into some of these mid area resistance areas in the chart. Can we push on through and come right up here? I think that is a possibility. Just kind of keep in mind that um, if those bears were to re-engage up here someplace, then we run that, that real risk that we could lose this little upside area in here if those bears re-engage and then we might run into some trouble. So kind of keep a close eye on that. And then our uh, T2101, well, T2101 has just been confused on these low volume whipsaws, big point uh, moves. Um, it has been confused. I don't know that we can use this right now to give us um, any clear picture of momentum. What it is showing us is just lots of whipsaw. Um, let's take a peek at our um, economic calendar here for today. And our economic calendar has just a little bit to be concerned about here today. Um, we'll cover this entire week um, really quickly. First, we've got factory orders here this morning. That'll be interesting. We've certainly seen our manufacturing and factory data not be at all positive. But the market doesn't seem to care. And then if we take a look, we've got a three-month auction and a six-month auction to be paying attention to here on the day. I think probably the thing that's going to be most important on everyone's mind, though, is thinking about Jerome Powell in Congress tomorrow. He's going to be speaking there on Tuesday and on Wednesday on the Hill. Um, it'll be Tuesday's comments that'll probably be the most dramatic um, as far as market moving. So we'll want to watch that close. We'll note we've got a three-year note auction in here as well on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we're going to have those mortgage applications. We're going to catch that ADP here, and then we're going to get the job openings report. All of those have been problematic for us and really been pushing the Fed to continue to raise rates. We'll want to watch that. Petroleum status and beige book will be in there as long as it along with a 10-year note auction and we've got a four-month um, auction in there if we take a over, look over here then we've got more um, our normal jobless claims um, um, we've got um, our normal natural gas report and we're going to get that challenger job cut report that'll be interesting and, and this is all working up to the employment situation number here on friday so kind of keep an eye on that we've got uh, several things here that can move us around but probably most importantly is what is old mr powell going to say on the hill this week watch that close let's take a look at our economic calendar or excuse me our earnings calendar uh, for today our earnings calendar is starting to <clears throat> well lean out a little bit we still have quite a few earnings reports uh, coming up this week but we're running a little bit shy on the major notables here that are particularly market moving now what that kind of means sometimes is that we run out of that that um, hyper 
inspiration that kind of comes from the earnings report. So you'll want to consider that um, when you're thinking about uh, trades. Take a look, um, notables for today, AV, AV. Um, that'll be reporting. You'll want to keep an eye on that one this morning. Um, we've got um, CVGW that will be reporting today. We've got Ride. So keep an eye on Ride. That'll be an interesting one here today. NTNX will be reporting. We've got TCOM. If I could type it. There we go. Um, TCOM will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. And the other, last notable that I really came up with here for today would be Weight Watchers. So watch that one closely. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. If you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click that subscribe button, also click that bell icon. It helps the channel to continue to grow. I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does do that. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who also clicks through and, and um, leaves brief comments or, or thumbs up um, other folks' comments in the channel. That engagement helps the channel to grow. Thank you. And, and a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link. I do truly appreciate it. Sorry for being a little tongue-tied, I guess, here this morning. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up. And I want to remind everyone that I've got a class coming up on Wednesday night, or Wednesday, not night, afternoon, uh, 30 minutes after the close of the market on the 3-8 trap class. We did a great one on Saturday, um, had a full class, and the Wednesday class is filling up. Um, it's almost full. So if you guys have an interest in that, it's a great strategy. Uh, folks, um, I've taught it to thousands of people and um, many, many, many people that say it's just completely turned their trading around. So if you have an interest in that, I'll leave a link just below the title of the video. You can check it out and see if it's right for you. Let's take a look at um, some of these um, charts that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any securities. As a matter of fact, you'll wanna do your own due diligence and make sure you're being very, very careful here on how you move forward we've been getting big price action swings here in the market and i would suspect that's going to continue this week now watching right in here um uup this could be important for today uup we're seeing um the dollar pull back a little bit here this morning a little bit of bearishness coming in on the, whoops sorry i didn't realize there there we go this is a daily Pulling back here this morning, here just a little bit, we seem a, uh, like there's a little bit of easing in those bond yields. That's gonna be important here for today. Remember, we've been moving in this upside trend. That's typically bearish for the overall market. So keep an eye on that. If we were to hold some support levels in here, start turning back up on that dollar, that could be a problem. So watch that closely. You might also wanna keep an, um, an eye on some of these precious metals that have surged up recently um, here in the market. If we start to see that dollar fall, which we're um, kind of experiencing right now, it's pulling back a little bit. If that dollar were, were to fall, keep an eye on some of these precious metals. If they hold a higher low in here, I think we could resume those uptrends here in the charts. And you can take a look at um, a lot of the mining sector stocks out there trying to show a little bit of support here on these trend levels um, or, or tre uh, support areas and possibly creating some higher lows in here that could move on through. Take a look at steel. Steel has been on fire here, um, moving up strong. U.S. Steel, I get criticized sometimes from some folks because I don't show a lot of low, lower cost stocks. Um, and it's just simply because a lot of the lower cost stocks aren't moving that well. But if you'll watch right in here, U.S. Steel, nice little breakthrough to the upside. Look for this little rest 
consolidation to occur in here. That may set up to move on higher to the upside. Take a look at old Cleveland Cliffs. Same thing, beautiful little upside trend moving on here, breaking through some resistance levels last week. Any rest or pullback, I think, puts up an opportunity there on steel. You might take a look at um, some of these oil sector stocks. Now, with the hope that China is recovering here just a little bit, we've seen a little bit of stubbornness here on these oil sector stocks holding in there. And I would say seasonally, we typically see gas prices is top out around Memorial Day. So we've got a month or so before that occurs. We might want to watch this in here for that possibility that maybe those energy prices surge back higher. I know a lot of folks have been hoping that these would weaken, but right now we're seeing quite a few of these stocks finding support levels and trying to move back up. Take a look at uh, Warren Buffett's uh, favored in here, OXY right at the end of the week started to rally back up so watch that close and keep in mind it's still in a downtrend if this rallies into here that could still sh fall short but there are a lot of stocks in this sector take a look at Halliburton Halliburton uh, kind of burned me here I went short on a Halliburton short on this bearish engulfing candle just completely reversed uh, to the upside off of that move so we're seeing some of these oil sector stocks really perk up you might want to keep an eye on some of these um, casinos um, win casino as you guys know I've been talking about this one for a while broke through that resistance here in the chart zooming to the upside any rest or pullback I think sets up more opportunities here in that chart you could take a look at like MGM MGM made a nice move we saw Las Vegas Sands making that move to the upside and if you want to go to more of the electronic gambling here Take a look at DKNG. DKNG, as you guys know, I've been talking about this one. Moving in that upside move, we've got a little resistance here in that chart we're trying to deal with, but there's really no reason why that can't push on through. We just really seem to love these gambling stocks at the moment, looking for some upside here. If you take a look at the um, stock CRWD, you guys know I've talked about this one for a while. I'm really starting to look um, very good probably needs a rest or pullback now as you guys know i've been talking about this one all through this pattern setup in here this is a pattern that we call a rounded bottom breakout and we're moving up nicely ultimate target up here would be up near the 200 day moving average so a little rest or pullback in here on this trend i think sets up the next opportunity in there for um, crwd last but not least take a look at this stock um, C-O-T-Y, C-O-T-Y finally making that move, trying to break on through this resistance level up here. This has been in a beautiful upside trend, resting a little bit. Friday started to take off in here, so keep an eye on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for being here this morning. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you um, are struggling in your trading and would like to have a little bit of help, um, um, with a better, maybe a new strategy. I would, I'm not going to say a better strategy, but a strategy that has certainly worked for me for my entire career. And um, I basically throw open my trade book. I give you everything I got. Um, in fact, it's a pretty long class, so kind of prepare um, for that. Um, but if you're interested, I'll leave that link just below the title of the video. You can take a look at the three intro strategy class. With that, everyone, have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best.